federal stimulus money, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, the federal stimulus alone is pumping more than a billion dollars into this budget. Now, with the help of that and some reserve money, the governor says the budget's full of tough decisions that are responsible. That story is first on Fox tonight. As he presents his final budget, Governor Phil Bredesen says the process is similar to what families are going through. I believe this is a common sense family budget in a very difficult time. Because of falling tax revenues, the governor's $12.4 billion budget is smaller than the one he presented last year. TenCare takes the biggest chunk and it's seeing the biggest cut, more than $200 million. Many departments are seeing 9% cuts and all told, more than 1,200 state positions will be eliminated, including 767 that are currently filled. Those would have been more severe without the use of reserve money. I believe we're in a strong enough position, and it's raining hard enough, that we can use some reserves to soften the worst of some of these cuts. The governor's budget does protect a few other priorities, including education. It's getting $43 million to keep up with inflation and corrections where there's less than 1% cut. The only plausible way to get to anything approaching 6 or 9% would be to close one or two prisons. I've declined to do that. It's a plan that's meeting approval from leaders in both parties. So there'll be some changes down the road, but I, you know, I don't see anything major at this time right now. We still have our work cut out for us, but I think this is a great road map to get us to the end of session. The road the governor says would be much tougher without reserves and the stimulus. It enabled a much softer landing than would otherwise have been possible. Now, another key part about the budget, it's proposing a 3% bonus for state employees. Now, that's a big thing because they haven't had a raise since 2007. Stacy. Sky, a lot of people may wonder, why can't we wait to make these cuts? Why now? There really is no other option, right? No, there isn't. It's not like Washington, D.C., where they can just go borrow money. There's, there are laws that require state lawmakers to balance the budget every year, and that's what they're trying to do. Constitutional amendment. Yeah. Thank you, Sky. We appreciate that report live from the newsroom tonight.